that really do not have to be compatible. Yeah. Because there's some people who feel each other and mm -hmm. there's one is somebody's husband. Yeah. <laughs> and the other one is a, a campango. Uh -huh. Those are, that is not compatibility. Okay. It is chemistry. All right. Because it fulfills a need mm -hmm. that is chemistry based. Yes. But, um, Doctor, again, we can also have um, compatibility whereby, mm. uh, or other, sorry, chemistry whereby, um, like a, a lot of our viewers will say, oh, movie Jeff and Shiko, you guys have got great chemistry, chemistry. you know, mm. just because uh, you, uh, we understand each other on, a, on different levels. And the mm. honest truth is we actually do prepare for our show. We just don't walk in mm. for us to have that, um, you know, um, uh, result on the screen. Mm. But people will look at that and be like, that's great, great chemistry. You flow, you yes, flow. Yes, and a lot of people actually on the show have suggested, ah, Mbuvi and Shiko, you guys should get married just because we laugh with each other on TV. <laughs> should we necessarily get together? Uh, and I'm not just talking about myself and Shiko, but even other guys out there, mm. just because they make each other laugh. No, you, see, you, you know what happens, eh? Uh, to use the, the you are, you're compatible mm -hmm. because probably you like similar things. Right. You're compatible because you like being together. Mm -hmm. You're compatible because you are able to perform similar tasks okay. almost in the same way. You can almost read the other person's mind. And now when we talk about chemistry, mm. it's now when you add the feelings and the two goosebumps and all that. And I say when it comes to marriage, if it's just about com compatibility, uh -huh. it may not work okay. very well. Because it takes more, a little more fire in mm, it. Mm. Because there are people who get married because they like similar things. They like football. They probably like swimming. Okay. They like cooking. Mm -hmm. And so they think they are, because they like similar things, it's going to be exciting. But along the journey you find there is nothing exciting about it. But now chemistry is that spark mm -hmm. that keeps that marriage going on. Yes. It is not only nice. You know, compatible people say, I'm in a nice marriage. Yeah. Just nice. Nothing changes much as you just, like you're saying, you know, it, you see changes. But now in, my, in, in compatible life, you find there is no change. Mm. It is all the same. There is nothing new. But when you find there is a chemistry, you may be different. You may not even like similar things. Like she likes baking. Mm. I like painting. Mm -hmm. She doesn't even know how to paint. But those two are not even, but they have a chemistry in it. Okay. Because sometimes I can paint on a cake. Mm -hmm. But the cake can <laughs> never be on my painting. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. he does that. By Computability. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It, it causes people to flow together. Mm -hmm. But chemistry puts the, that spark that wow. makes relationships exciting. Making a relationship exciting. You know, that's a word uh, that um, sometimes we take for granted. But if we look at what people um, perceive as excitement, mostly comes from chemistry. Mm. Because True. you feel good when you're with, uh, with that bay of yours, with that partner of yours, and, 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 and you complete each other's sentences. Mm. Uh, you can even guess what tonight you're going to have for dinner. Mm. Eh? So if he brings home uh, matumbo, you're like, ah, I told you I'm going to have then I'm going to matumbo, you know. And people believe that that is how marriage should be. But there's also the compatibility of mimi na wewe tuko compatible because you're a hard worker for instance as, as a wife or as a husband you're a hard worker you 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 you're taking up responsibility as a man and so on and so forth you're taking care of the house as the woman sometimes i feel like compatibility overrides chemistry do you agree yes at a certain point yes because there's so many people who are married for some few years and they tell us, you know, I love this man. We have very good chemistry, mm. but I discover he doesn't have a vision. I discover we are going nowhere. Mm -hmm. When there's compatibility, there is a vision, there is a goal, and there is direction. And that is your steering wheel in the relationship. The spark is a fire and the fuel mm. that keeps it going. Okay. I agree you need both in the relationship. Okay. However... It is very important you marry somebody who you are also compatible with. Mm -hmm. Those are what we call values. Mm -hmm. You can say, I loved so and so because they had working. Now that is beyond now the chemistry. And that's why we say yeah. the sparks go for about eight months. Mm -hmm. That's when you can be able to draw a line between infatuation and actual love. When it's infatuation, within eight months, the sparks are not there. And you wonder, what did I love in this person? Because there's no value. <laughs> yes. So true love has to have both. Okay. 
But the value part is so important because that's what keeps you when the times are hard. When even feeling like loving is hard, mm -hmm. it's the values that keep you as you also ignite the sparks. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, Dr. Julius, let me ask you. If we are to, if for, especially for guys who are struggling mm. with relationships and they're just thinking, me and Takatumans, they need to settle down to Nadem. Mm. Should they be looking for chemistry? Should they be looking for compatibility? Mm. Should they give one more preference over the other? Mm. So that at the end of the day, I say, me, I think I am ready to settle in this. You, you know, you can have, I'll, I'll say this, eh? mm -hmm. you need to have that spark that ignites the journey. Because if the, 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 the whole relationship is not starting, you know, it's like you have a kind, it's not starting. There is something that you must feel for this person. There is the aspect, you know, every uh, good relationship starts with a feeling. Now, there are people who sit down and like, I like the way she works hard. I like the way she cooks. I like the, but you have no feeling for her. Mm. So you work on something and you say, let me bring her in. The feeling will come later. Yeah. And you find the relationship <laughs> becomes just a dull thing because after she comes and she's a good cook, mm -hmm. she doesn't like the, maybe you like dancing in the house. Yes. You didn't marry her because she likes dancing. So she'll never, but probably if you are with this person and you're looking at the person and you're like, you like the way they smile. You know, that's not cooking. Yes. You like the way they, they walk. That has nothing to do with cooking because you can't say, I, I married somebody because she's compatible with my step of walking. Mm. You know, you, you like somebody because there's a way they walk. Now, then you begin to look deeper and see, now this thing that is walking so nicely, mm -hmm. this thing that is smiling so good, mm -hmm. does she know how to cook? Now, when you discover she knows how to cook, then it, it, it brightens up the whole issue okay. because now you begin to see that at least you can flow together. Then suddenly probably you're a sportsman and you, she also likes sports. She smiles, she walks good, she also likes sports and you like sports. Now, it takes you to another level. Another step, yes. You are able to know that not only will you have the chemistry, mm -hmm. but it will be comparable. Is it possible to have all of them then? Um, and I like the example that you've used in, in regards to I, I like her because of her smile, but she doesn't know how to cook. Some things I can, I can teach. Mm -hmm. I, I can teach you how I like my ugali. <laughs> I can teach you how I like my rice uh, and how I like my eggs done and so on and so forth. I can teach you how to do laundry, if at all you were never taught. Uh, or we can buy a uh, washing machine. No, we can even hire someone to do that uh, for us. Because if you look at how things used to be done, Kitambo, especially with our parents, they used to do uh, this, uh, what is it called, arranged marriages, mm. where you get to a certain age, especially for boys after circumcision, mm. and you guys are compatible because we know she comes from a rich family. Mm. Uh, we know that their parents are not, uh, you know, witch doctors and so on and so forth. <laughs> so you guys are compatible. Yeah. So should we, should we be after compatibility in this sense? Or should we pursue chemistry, then now teach or train compatibility? I want to throw in something that could be a bit controversial. When we look at those arranged marriages, they used to last for, forever. Yes. They were till death do we part. Mm -hmm. And somehow, uh, the, the parents were wise enough to assess that this girl is like this. She loves digging. She loves fetching water. And our son loves taking care. You know, parents used to do a very keen job. Yeah. And so somehow... When they are married, the, the compatibility would glue them. There was no spark. It was just a compatibility. But with time, they would learn to develop the spark. Mm -hmm. Perhaps or not. But so mainly, they would work backwards. They would work, <laughs> yeah. they would work backwards. Yeah. But now, we're in a generation where you make a choice. You go, somebody just, you feel a goosebump. And the other one, a goosebump. And can I marry you? Mm. And you're married. <laughs> Actually, it's you get pregnant, then now we get yes. married. Mm. Then you discover <laughs> the goosebump was because of the dress she was wearing. Yes. You love that kind of a dress. Mm. And now she's pregnant, she can't fit into the same dress. Mm. And the figure is not the same. Mm -hmm. And suddenly there is no chemistry and nothing holds you together. And there is no compatibility whatsoever. As there well. was none in the beginning anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So nothing holds you together. So what do I say? I think for me, the chemistry is of course a baseline, mm. but it's very, very important for compatibility because that compatibility is what makes you friends. Yes. And when you're friends, then the marriage can grow to the next level. From friendship, now you can become lovers. 
chemistry versus compatibility. Again, mm, mm. where she has uh, started from, I, I mean, it's a nice one. You like someone because of the dress. When they get pregnant, your dress is not a kumtosha. Mm. Mm. Like in me, uh, a company, a lot of men, and especially men, mm. they will go hunting for women in specific areas. Mm. And actually, sorry, even women as well. Mm. <laughs> there are women who will look for specific kind of men. Mm. Men who drive. Men who are bankers, for Material. example. Material. Yes, because for them, they do not care two hoots about chemistry. They are not to secure future. And I could do, if I hook up with movie, for example, movie is going to make sure that I live in a good house, I drive a nice car, and um, you know our kids will have you know a bright future. Yeah. She really doesn't care about chemistry. Mm. True. Do you think that we are actually discarding part of of our do I call it humanity mm. um, or even part of of our, of our divinity mm. for 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 this material, material things? things? You see, the challenge that comes with that, you find now this is a lady who is compatible with mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. Mm. No, okay. she's very yes, similar. Yeah, sorry, there's Kagwema <laughs> from Limuru calling. Kagwema, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Gubi. Mimi Niko Salama sana, how are you doing? Me, I'm fine. I want to call you that what I've debated about uh, chemistry versus compatibility. Yes, Karibu sana. And I just want to say that uh, the, two, the, two, the, two, the two panelists are psychologists. Eh? Yes. And being psychologists, they know of a theory called the psychodynamic theory of mate selection. Eh? Okay. When you're selecting a mate, eh? mm -hmm. You just go for, uh, for the qualities. If you are a woman, you go for the qualities of your father. There is something in your father that you like. Uh -huh. if, you are, if you are a man, you go for the mother. Yes. And that was even reinforced by another psychologist called Carl Jan. Mm -hmm. Carl Jan talked about uh, the, first, the, first, the first feeling. That's the chemistry they are talking about. Yes. So I want to say that the chemistry precedes the compatibility. But compatibility is the one that carries the day. Mm -hmm. Because chemistry is in persuasion. They are just like it as a feeling but it's in persuasion yes you just feel it but it does not last okay. so it is it is important to to work on compatibility mm -hmm. even when we are teaching theories of male selection mm -hmm. and the, the, sustain, the sustain, sustainability of marriage mm -hmm. we need to look at compatibility because compatibility comes with value system but other characteristics yes. your world view and uh -huh. the whole things that people consider so okay. compatibility is the key word Thank, Thank you. you so much, and God bless you. Amen. Asante sana pia, we will be blessed. Let's take a look at WhatsApp as well as we try and answer this question. Chemistry and compatibility are two words different. You can, uh, two, yeah, you can have a good chemistry in a relationship, but lack compatibility in it. Uh, Haviza Nango from Lodwa. Thank you, Haviza from Lodwa. We also have uh, another one. Compatibility is about the long-term potential mm. of two people. High compatibility comes from similarities in lifestyle and values. Chemistry, on the, other, on the other hand, represents the emotional connection present when two people are together and is a spice to compatibility. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, good morning. I'm Gladys and enjoying the show. According to me, I prefer compatibility because you have most things together, as in things work out well together. Mm. Okay, Gladys. Ah, yeah. Thank you very much. Keep on texting us. We will definitely look at uh, some of your uh, f uh, feedback. And that's how you were trying to explain something. And I was saying, eh? Like the ladies you're saying who marry for the house, mm. for the car, for the cars, yes. the money, mm. that means they are, in the beginning, they don't have the chemistry, but they are going for compatibility with money, mm -hmm. with the car. Mm -hmm. So if that car leaves, then they go with it, because <laughs> they will leave you on that place, Yes. because there was nothing that was connecting you. Yeah. There is no spark that puts you together. As Kwagoma has said, eh, you know, it is good to have uh, th the compatibility in the long term, but it is also important to take care of that spark because what is causing that man who probably had a chemistry or yeah. a woman with a chemistry with his wife and uh, they discover they are very compatible, but along the way they, are, they have a vision together, mm -hmm. they are building an organization together, mm -hmm. they are bringing a family together, mm -hmm. but now something died in between them. Yeah. There is no spark. Yeah. And there has to be a work that you continue doing, make sure that you are still working on that spark remaining. Okay. Because if you just remain on compatible, then it becomes just like having a partner mm. in the house. Mm. And that is why they could stay there for very long. But suddenly you find outside there, mm -hmm. they, a man may begin a relationship with somebody they have a chemistry, chemistry with. with. Mm. That's where I was actually heading. A woman may begin a relationship with somebody they have chemistry with. Mm. So I say it is good to be compatible, but at the same time work Develop. on maintaining 
that chemistry is of my chemicals is he kufezi si shenguvu keep on working on them if it is uh, he was attracted to you because you walk nicely now stop taking those long steps now you started that sasa unatembea na ma, na ma steps refrefu mm. now that he, kubo kubo. he married you because you used to wear nice dresses yeah. now you just wear anything mm. no keep the spark alive a lot of those texts we have just seen right now uh, i think all three are all uh, are inclined towards compatibility you know cuz they are looking at the long term me i want to be with yeah. someone 40 years from now yeah. we are still together True. talking the same uh, language True. but Dr. has brought up a very interesting uh, perspective because fine we could be compatible fine i have the cars i have the houses i have the money our kids are you know studying in the best schools in the country and so on and so forth and we're going to the best destinations in the world but i can hardly touch you because i just don't feel you yeah. your chemistry sasa unajua hapo sasa ndio shida inaingilia and 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 that is when you will find the, uh, and actually a lot of these rich men out there where once they pass on unasikia anga oh bidu watatu wamejitokeza na watoto yeah. wawili wawili each mm. true so are we again i'm asking the comp, uh, the question are we compromising one for the other we are let me tell you both have to work together and i keep saying when it's only compatibility that's a business partner that's a business partner. Mm -hmm. You should never marry somebody just because your values are similar. You should never marry somebody just because you feel like your mom told you marry a girl who can do this, you know, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, and she has it on the list. And you go ahead and you marry that person. Then later you discover, I didn't love her. Yeah. Simple base word, I don't love this person. Mm -hmm. And that's why there are relationships that take so long. And they later say, you know, I realize I never loved you. Mm. And that hurts the other party so much. Mm. And what do we define as love in that conversation? Mm. The chemistry. I discovered there was no flow between the two of us. Yeah. And you know what? That's why you're finding a lot of pangua candles. Because for them, they know how to live, how to dress, how to work, to seduce you enough mm. to bring the chemistry, the <laughs> part of your chemistry, yeah. which has never been expressed. Yeah. And so what happens? You go home, the wife has done all the work well, duke in endelea vizuri, watoto wana grow, and there's no quarrel that you're happy, basically, mm -hmm. you're compatible. Mm -hmm. But then you go to a, another, the other mpango mm -hmm. where there are sparks. Mm -hmm. Because a human being is created for both. Now, because we do not want the mpango, this is my advice to women. Be the friend and be the mpango. Be both for him. Be both. Be what he wants. And mm. also the man, arise yeah. and be both. Yes? Mm. Yes. Arise and be both. We're going to take a short... Uh, someone is laughing. <laughs> 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 we're, we're going to take a short break uh, when we return, of course, uh, compatibility versus chemistry for you out there. And especially if your marriage is working, let us know. What is working for you? Is it the compatibility part? Is it the chemistry part? Do you feel as though you're compromising on one? Do you feel as though you're losing out on the other? Let us know. We'll be right back.